the big focus of this channel is going to be, as far as a series goes, is to teach what the Bible says about God, how God has revealed to us in Holy Scripture, His nature, His attributes, His character, and also what does the Bible say about true salvation. So these are going to be two ongoing series. And the name of this series that I'm going to start today, and briefly, it is entitled, The One True God. Now, I get that idea from Scripture. Uh, first of all, turn with me to 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy. Chapter 2 and verse 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. So, we have revealed in Scripture that there is only one God. Jeremiah 10 and verse 10. Old Testament here, Jeremiah 10.10. 10. says, But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting King. At His wrath the earth shall tremble and the nations shall not be able to abide His indignation. Now here in this a verse, when you see Lord in the Old Testament in caps, L-O-R-D, uh, it means Jehovah. Okay, that is his name. And we're going to be looking at this in uh, video after video, the series, um, where we focus on who God is and what the Bible reveals about him. Next, turn with me over to 1 John and chapter 5. 1 John in chapter 5 and verse 20. And we know that the Son of God is come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. So, hence the title of this series, The One True God. It is important to be able to understand what the Bible reveals about who God is, about His nature, um, because there's a lot of counterfeits out there, and um, you don't just have to go by some uh, false religious organization such as the Mormons or the Jehovah's Witnesses or the Catholic Church, but uh, it's all over YouTube. And everybody comes up with their own little spin to try to be different, set themselves apart. Uh, but it's just history rehashed. It's just false cults that's been rehashed over and over again. Um, there are many YouTube personalities that think they've come up with something new. Um, like one teaches that Jesus Christ is a created being and that he is that light in Genesis chapter 1 that was created. Um, that's nothing new, okay? That's been going on for centuries. We're going to be looking at, um, in this series, what the church dealt with um, many centuries ago and um, all that happened um, as a result and how uh, church fathers from centuries back had to um, deal with these folks that rose up and um, try to come away with their own little cult and change the nature of God and get everybody to follow after that. Satan has not changed his tactics in all these centuries. He continues to try to deceive people. He masquerades as an angel of light. It is very important that we know who our enemy is. Um, but it is important 
to know what the Bible teaches about God so that we can spot the counterfeits. Because, you know, one example is here in the United States, we have a branch called the Secret Service. And they knew more than just protect the president. They also, their original job, their original function was to um, check out money that was circulating and to see what was counterfeit and what was real. And they're trained to see what is real. And they're trained so well that they can spot the counterfeit. And that's how it needs to be with us, brothers and sisters, because um, deception is great in these last days. Make no mistake about it. Um, this is Satan's last hurrah. And um, YouTube is just a microcosm of the cesspool that is going on in this world today. And um, all the attacks that are happening against true Christians that stand up for the truth. So, turn with me over to Luke 21. Luke 21 and verse 8. And Jesus warned us, okay? He warned the disciples and uh, nothing has changed in nearly 2,000 years. He said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. Brothers and sisters, when these people name the name of Christ, but it is not the Christ of the Bible, it doesn't matter if they hold up a King James Bible. It doesn't matter if they say, Thus saith the Lord. Um, they're speaking lies and hypocrisy. They have a different Jesus. If they don't have the Jesus of the Bible, they could have a very close facsimile, something that's so similar that at first it's hard to spot. And one of those things that's very hard to spot, and people think, and I've seen this over and over, people don't even think that it's worth dividing over, um, is this teaching of denying the eternal sonship of Christ. And all of these different things are going to be discussed and gone over with Scripture. And also there's going to be some history put in there. Um, I'm going to read historical accounts uh, from uh, a book or two that I have where it shows examples of, of what church fathers early on went through in dealing with uh, these cultic people that rose up and caused um, um, to lead people away in great error. And it's no different today. We have their um, same people in a new generation called by a different name, but it's still that same um, belief and a twisting and a perversion of the truth. So we have here the words of Jesus where he said, I am Christ. Uh, many will come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. So we are, no doubt, in the very last days of the church age. The time is upon us. Um, we're on the very cusp of Ezekiel 38 and 39 being fulfilled. Um, as well as prophecies in Isaiah and Jeremiah and uh, Psalm 83. All these things are coming together at a very rapid pace. And along with that, we see the proliferation of these uh, false teachers um, that, get, that draw disciples away after them. And these people have itching ears and they heap unto themselves these false teachers um, they all hang out in the same group, and, and um, sadly, they reject the truth. Um, when people deny the eternal sonship of Christ, it's time to depart from them. Um, not going to be very popular. You're not going to have any friends, not very many. But the ones you do have, they'll be worth something. And we can expect in these last days to be attacked for standing for the truth. It's, it's not anything out of the uh, ordinary. Um, Jesus said, um, if they hated me, they will also hate you. And we need to remember that they hated him first. So, um, we can spot a false Christ, which is either ones that call themselves such, 
or a false created one by man. See, uh, some of these false teachers, they wouldn't dare call themselves a Christ or a Messiah, although some do. But rather, they will create a false Christ. And, for example, when you have this issue with the eternal sonship of Christ, what's going on today is not new. Um, before, right now, it was the Ruckmanites. Before that, it was the Plymouth Brethren. These uh, different groups, they come up with these very troubling new doctrines and try to inject it into the church and draw away disciples after themselves. Um, all of it attacks the deity of Christ. It attacks his nature. It demotes him from that glorious, great, exalted position that he so richly deserves. He is the eternal Son of God, and if people deny that, Break fellowship with them. Mark them that cause division and avoid them. Have nothing to do with them. For what fellowship hath light with darkness? You say, yeah, but they could be a brother that they're in error. We don't need to worry about that. That's God's problem, not ours. We're to mark them that cause these divisions and separate from them and have nothing to do with them. Um, now, false Christ... Um, um, include denying the Trinity, um, so the triune Godhead. That is, that there is one God revealed to us in three eternal persons. Um, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Uh, they deny the eternal Sonship. They have a created Jesus. Um, or they have a a Jesus that's a spirit brother to Lucifer that, that gets exalted after they become a man and then die and then get resurrected and so they're an exalted God after that which that's the Mormons um, or uh, another thing which ties into what I was saying at the very beginning is there's a, a false Jesus that would um, take away someone's salvation um, a Jesus that does not save you to the uttermost is a false Jesus um, there's many imposters. There's many fakes out there. And this series, um, little by little, is going to expose these false cults for what they are. And, and by exposing them, you'll be able to recognize anyone that you listen to on YouTube or on television or um, if you read their magazines or articles. It, it makes no difference where from where it comes at from, from at... Uh, how do I want to say this? It makes no difference where it comes from or how it comes at you. Um, you will be able to spot it because you will know what the one true God is, who he is, what he reveals about himself in scripture, and that anything else is an imposter. So that's going to conclude it for this video. I look forward to um, sharing this as the Lord shows me scriptures and and um, as we go through this, it's going to be a lengthy series. Um, the videos, I'm going to try to keep them somewhat short and deal with things point by point. But nonetheless, it's very needful for the body of Christ, as well as um, the other series about true salvation. Um, there's so many that uh, get wrapped up in this uh, pattern of works got to work your way to heaven. You have to show good works or it must mean you're not really saved. And all these different things that um, that attack and try to weaken what true salvation is. And it comes from a devil who wants to take peace away from you. And it comes from followers who worship this devil who want to take peace from you. That way, if, if their definition of salvation gets uh, usurps what God says, then they can draw followers away and have people following them and paying attention to them. Um, a disciple of the Lord, a Christian who is a teacher, should always point to the Word of God, point to what God says. So that's going to do it for this video. Until next time, God bless you and take care.